Why did the sandwich go to a party? Because it heard the mayonnaise was going to be there. Yes folks, we're talking about the divine condiment. Mayonnaise. The one that adds a dollop of delight to your sandwiches, hot dogs, and fries. Its journey starts with a love story in the early 20th century, when a German immigrant named Richard Helms and his wife whipped up a creamy sensation in their New York City shop. The salads dressed in homemade mayonnaise became such a hit that they started selling it in small wooden tubs. But what's in this creamy concoction that makes it so irresistible? It's a simple duo, eggs and oil. Let's take a peek into a farm, home to 23,000 free-range hens, each laying an egg a day in a barn that's 2,600 square meters. These eggs, carefully nestled in trays with their tips down, form the foundation of our mayo-tastic journey. Remember, without these eggs, we'd have to bid adieu to our beloved mayo. Ever tried separating egg yolks from whites? Now picture doing that 280 times in 10 seconds. Sounds like a messy nightmare, doesn't it? But it's all in a day's work for the machines at the mayonnaise factory. Once the eggs arrive from the farm, they're put through a separator that flawlessly divides the yolks from the whites. These yolks are then salted to extend their shelf life, pasteurized to ensure they're safe to eat, and packed into massive containers. Each of these containers can hold enough egg yolk to create a whopping 25,000 jars of mayonnaise. Now, let's not forget about the oil, soybean oil to be exact. It arrives in huge tanker trucks, and workers transfer it to storage tanks with the utmost care. At the same time, these culinary alchemists are also weighing out the secret spice blends that will give the mayonnaise its unique flavor. So, we've got the yolks, oil, and secret spices all set, but wait, there's more to this mayo tale. Now, let's dive into the great mayo mix-off. It's like a foodie's version of a chemistry lab. Here's where the magic happens, the blending of flavors that transform simple ingredients into the creamy delight we all love. First, we add a dash of white vinegar, a pinch of salt, and a spoonful of preservatives. But the secret weapon here is water, room temperature to be exact. This isn't just any water though, it's been mixed with our ingredients to form a slurry, a thick, saucy mixture that's ready to join the big leagues. Now, imagine three towering tanks, each filled to the brim with a key component of our mayo. One holds the slurry, another cradles the egg yolk, and the third is home to the oil. These are the pillars of large-scale mayonnaise production. Enter the precise dosing system, the master mixer. It extracts the required amounts from each tank, combining them in a harmonious blend, but we're not done yet. Starch is incorporated into the mix, maintaining that smooth texture we all know and love. Next is the heating process, the final transformative step. As the heat rises, our mixture undergoes a metamorphosis, changing from a simple blend of ingredients into the creamy, flavorful mayonnaise. And voila, the creamy, flavorful mayo is born, but hold on, we're not done yet. The journey from factory to your fries is just beginning. Ever wondered how each mayo jar gets that perfect 680 grams of goodness? Well, let's spill the beans, or should we say, the mayo. Now the mayo has been mixed, but we're not done yet. It's time for those stringent quality control measures that ensure the mayonnaise's color, consistency, and flavor are up to snuff. Imagine a tasting panel sampling spoonful after spoonful, making sure each batch is mayo -nificent. Post the taste test. Our mayo is ready for bottling. Picture a filling machine, a mechanical marvel, meticulously measuring and filling each jar with precisely 680 grams of creamy deliciousness. It's like a symphony of synchronization, a ballet of bottling, an opera of organization. But we can't just leave our mayo exposed to the elements, can we? So each jar is sealed with a metal screw cap a knight's helmet for our mayo, preserving its freshness and integrity. Next comes the fashion show. Each jar gets adorned with a label, strutting down the factory line, looking chic and ready to grace your favorite dish. And what about those handy sachets of mayo you find at your favorite fast food joint? They're crafted with transparent polyethylene film and branded labels, ready to be squeezed onto your burger or sandwich with ease. So next time you squeeze that mayo sachet onto your burger, remember the egg-siding journey it's been on? And that, folks, is how your sandwich's best friend comes to life. From humble eggs and oil to the creamy delight we all know and love, it's a journey of transformation. But our food adventures don't stop here. If you're intrigued by the magic of mayo, imagine the wonders of chocolate. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more behind-the-scenes peeks into your favorite foods. Thanks for joining us on this incredible mayo-making journey. Stay tuned for more egg-selling adventures.